To get started with this project, you want to cut three pieces of fleece that are three inches wide and 50 to 60 inches long. So once you've done that, you want to match the ends of your fleece so that they're even. And you kind of want to get them straightened out because what we're going to do is find the midpoint of the fleece. So this looks like the midpoint. Uh, so let's get this over. So I have the midpoint here and I'm gonna hold on to that midpoint with my right hand and then get out my measuring tool. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to line up the fleece with the measuring tool and place the midpoint at the seven inch mark. Here's the midpoint, and then here is the zero point, basically zero inches on the measuring tape. So what we're going to do is now place a clothespin or some sort of clip at the zero inches mark. So I'm going to put this here. All right, so that's holding the fleece in place there. And now if I lift it up, you see there's a short end and then there's a long end to the fleece. And so we're going to clamp uh, this clip under in the clipboard. And then way down the clipboard, oops, that popped this out way down the clipboard with some sort of weight or books to help keep things in place. So now we want to start braiding the fleece and you want to braid the side that is longer. So here's the short side, here's the long side. And so we're going to braid the fleece for 14 inches. And so Get started with that. You want to separate the three strands. We're ready to get started braiding. And so to braid, you take the right strand and you cross it over the middle strand. And then you take the left strand and you cross that over the new middle strand. I'm going to scoop this whole thing down a bit. And so we take the right strand, cross that over the new middle strand, and then the left strand, cross that over the new middle strand. And then we keep doing this for 14 inches. And as you braid, you really wanna make sure that the braid is snug because we don't want really, we want very little give if this tug was to be tugged on. Um, so that really helps with the durability of the braid and the tug so that it's more long lasting. So left over the middle strand, right over the middle strand, left over the middle strand, right over the middle strand. Okay, yep. So we have our 14 inch braid right here. Um, so now I'm going to attach another clip to the end of this braid. All right, so we're gonna take this braid out of the clipboard. And we're going to bend it in half to find the midpoint, just like we did at the beginning. And we're going to clap, clasp this midpoint right here, basically where the, um, where the braid is underneath the clipboard. So just like this. 
All right. So we're gonna remove the clips from each end. So we're going to fan out the strands and basically create sections with the strands. So we want a middle, a right section, a middle section, and a left section. So for the middle section, you want a strand of fleece from the left side and the right side. So this is gonna be our middle section. This will be our right section, and this will be our left section. And then I'm going to put a weight down on the clipboard again to help keep things steady. And so what we're going to do is we're going to braid these sections together. And this is going to close the handle and uh, create the, the tugging portion of the tug. So it's kind of like braiding someone's hair, uh, if you've ever done that. So instead of the single strands of fleece, we're going to take sections of fleece. So we're going to take the right section, cross it over the middle section, and then take the left section and cross that over the new middle section. And you want this to be pretty snug because it's important that this is, you know, this is kind of creating the knot up here for this handle. So it needs to be pretty tight. So now I take the right section, cross it over the middle section. Take the left section, and cross it over the new middle section. Take the right section, cross it over the middle section, take the left section, and cross that over the middle section. So you keep doing this until you run out of fleece to braid. All right, so it looks like we're pretty, pretty close to the end of creating, of doing the braiding. Um, this strand is too short now to continue braiding. So we're going to create an overhand knot, which will uh, be what the dog grips with their teeth to pull on the tug. So you want to take all of the fleece and basically wrap it around and put it through this opening here. So get even the short strands through. Okay, and then you want to bring this knot as far down as possible, really at the end of the tug. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Um, all right, so we have this knot. Um, you can see there's a lot of fringe, so we're gonna go ahead and trim that to be nice and short. So we basically want the fringe to not really be any longer than this short piece here, so no, no more than an inch. All right, so we will take this tug out and there you go this will go around a door handle and then the dog will tug on the knot here at the end and that will pull open the door and so this will make a really big difference in someone's day-to-day -day life in their home